Well, good morning. This is Father Joe Zabinski, as you know me. And I just want to give you a little taste of what, well, what the Lord is doing in my own prayer life right now. As you see, I'm in this the beautiful uh, chapel here at the rectory. And I just got done with my holy hour. So yesterday, <laughs> during my prayer time this morning, I had a distracting thought. One was that, the first one was that, when I was fishing yesterday, a friend of mine was telling me that the lure that he was using it was called a puddle jumper. A puddle jumper. And anyway, so I had that distract, had that thought come into my mind. And uh, anyway, I thought about puddle jumpers and getting one, you know, or getting some puddle jumpers. Anyway, it was just hilarious. But um, our Lord, it was interesting because our Lord uh, brought me to meditate upon the Office of Readings this morning. He was all on Revelation chapter 7, verses 1 through 17. And the verse that really stuck out to me was, They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. This is, of course, referring to the martyrs. And before this, I was experiencing this frustration, sadness, a little bit of anger and such like that with regard to the COVID virus uh, and whatnot. And the Lord was telling me, yes, it's, it's hard work to wash our robes, so to speak, making them white in the blood of the Lamb. But yet, if we do that, the Lord gave me a lot of words of consolation. He said that if we do that well, if we do that faithfully, it will be worth it, he said. Think about the joys of heaven, he told me. He said to me, and that gave me a lot of consolation, that gave me a lot of hope, if you will. It was this that brought them before God's throne. Day and night they ministered to him in the temple. He, he who sits on the throne will give them shelter. Never again shall they know hunger or thirst, nor shall the sun or its heat be down on them, for the Lamb on the throne will shepherd them. He will lead them to springs of life-giving water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Mm -hmm. So I, for me, that brought me words of consolation just to hear those words from Jesus. Oh well, yeah, anyway, those are, that's just the meditation, the little thing that I had in my prayer life today. God bless you. Bye.